granulation assay uh, to use it as a marker for cytotoxicity. And uh, how it works is they label it with APC, and for example, they can use it to detect cytotoxic T cells, or you can change the cell, you can, use, uh, you can add NK receptor labeled uh, in CD56, or uh, T helper 1, for example, or NKT, the other, or the other cells. And then um, they check for degranulation as an indicator for uh, cytotoxicity by the surface secretion of CD101 uh, uh, based on uh, 107A based on the, this protein or, originated in the lysosomal associated region of the lysosome they located in the cytosol uh, granules membrane. So upon uh, exocytosis, they, this uh, lysosome get re, uh, was outside and outside, uh, and then they internalize right away. So once they internalize, the technique here uh, is designed to sustain the the test during the activation, during the stimulation. So when during re-internalization back of the uh, lysosome, uh, the, the stains get in and they add inhibitor, uh, this is the interleukins wall, sorry, this is the lysosome, it's no wall. it goes outside and when it's coming, it comes with the stain inside. So you will be able then uh, to uh, add the others, uh, whether it's intracellular cytokines, possible like interferon gamma or surface uh, antibody like CCD8 or CD56 uh, to check for that. And this is how the protocol works. So uh, the IPFA is to uh, inhibit the release of cytokines from the cell and the uh, insulin uh, to prevent the structures of the complex Complex of, uh, of CD107 not to be uh, not to be uh, degraded during the activation of process and subsequent uh, test. So following activation for 46, the first thing you stay in the beginning and following activation is sort of a reaction and you can you can store it and for later or continue right away. You lyse your blood cells, you permeabilize, and then you add your stain and analyze. So here is the getting strategy. Say you have, uh, here's the lymphocyte, uh, you label it with C3, and then you label it with uh, CD8, so CD8 you get them, and from that you will uh, analyze for interferon gamma and the cd 107 and here is the cells and the numbers uh, uh, of the activated cells. And you can know which one of the cells does produce either interferon gamma, you can change interferon gamma at granzyme, you can even change two to three, four different CU and analyze them all together for the three cells together that you have exactly when you activate the cells. What cell is activated and what does it produce? Uh, and this is about uh, actually uh, also another specific cell. Some people could be interested in uh, analyzing uh, T regulatory cells, which is involved in uh, immune tolerance. And uh, it has its main uh, characteristic uh, than the other T cells as CD25 positive and produce Fox P3. And it's also another protocol, again, you. Uh, you, you collect your cells and you uh, activate them or fix them and permeabilize the stain and acquire. And uh, you can check that CD4 positive and CD25 positive will permeate the receptor expression. And inside, if it does produce or the level of production of uh, Fox P3. And uh, finally is the another specific cells, uh, sorry, specific test is the t 
testing for uh, protein phosphorylation and uh, solid cell signaling pathway. And this is a talk for tomorrow. I'm not going to speak about it in detail. But the general view is uh, following your stimulation, you lie some pixel cells, you permeabilize them, you stain them, and you can detect uh, the level of uh, what protein being, uh, the level of the specific protein uh, is being phosphorylated in that specific cell. So even uh, uh, you can say for one to you, according to the parameter you, you are studying, you can check, say, in one cell, three different proteins, or you can say from uh, uh, check one protein in three different cells. So yeah, you can check, okay, AKT, AKT pathway is phosphorylated. I can get and check AKT in a whole lymphocyte, or even in a whole granulocyte, or in monocyte. And also, if uh, I have a room for a surface uh, receptor. I can say that just neutrophil and check if it's AKT is phosphorylated there. Or I can check, check just CD19 B cell and I see if AKT is, is phosphorylated on that cell based on my activation, yes or no. And then you have a general view what do you want to do after or, uh, in your uh, future um, uh, test. So it could be even a way. Uh, a fast uh, uh, to screen for what could be activated and then uh, carry on on, uh, on that specific cells. Um, thank you very much. Uh, and I tell the machine or software 
for I need it from region one. In this region one, that means any cell outside this region will not be to this block. You see, totally, that's why it's totally isolation. Okay? So, but on this lymphocyte, I'm interested only on CD3 positive. I don't want natural cell cell. I don't want the uh, other guys. So, they are negative here. And I'm interested in CD3, why? Because I know CD8 is inside, is also CD3 positive. So I'm get, joining a, a gate around the CD3 positive cells, which is usually uh, this, uh, this uh, cell. Uh, from one to two is negative in between here, it could be more like low signal. Okay, oh, that means low level expression of that specific uh, <coughs> receptor. So here I want a population that is CD3 positive and also CD8 positive, double positive. So I get them here from region one, the first one here, the lymphocyte. And this is called combined gating using region one and region three. Region three. So this is region three, which is, has the cytotoxic T cell. Because I'm only here isolating the CDA positive cells only, and representing on that when the result cell express having CD one zero seven A positive, I'm also producing interferon gamma or not. So it's block, uh, two blocks, two stems, and I check for the double positive here, that means uh, uh, the cell express both, here expressing only interferon gamma, here negative for both, and here is positive only for the CD107A. So this, if I tell you what is CD8 here, you will tell me that all of these are, sorry, if, if the cell, well, from this, what's the cell that produces CD one zero seven A is positive? It's all of these, but I'm not interested in all of that. I'm interested in the one that CD zero one seven A and also having interferon gamma release as indicated for cytotoxicity. And so I take the double positive. And software has the uh, tool you choose all the mathematics you need, uh, sorry, the statistic you need um, to for your uh, for your analysis. Does that help? Okay. Next question. These are some of the references I use to build this uh, uh, new function analysis and also what blocker you biology flow cytometry protocols. Uh, and I would like to tell uh, a little bit. I did my undergrad at uh, Khartoum University. What is it? <laughs> Defense. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.